One of the things most people don't realize about mild pain seminars is the history that's involved here. These series have come out of the Janet Travell and David Simon series. And in such, one of the things that we teach is a trigger point that they found on the right side of the pectoralis major between the fifth and the sixth rib. And we actually found one of those today on, a, on one of the attendees of the seminar and actually treated it. She reported that she's had a history of PVCs and some other symptoms. And so hopefully she'll, uh, you'll enjoy the story that she's going to tell. My name is Rebecca Hutcherson. I am a physical therapist in Richmond, Virginia. Um, and this was the most beneficial thing I've done in a very, very long time. Um, I come to the Myopain seminar for Dry Needling One, and we immediately begin getting some insane results. These deep, heavy trigger point releases I didn't even know were there. Um, we moved to the subscap and the pec, and it was this huge, huge wash of relief as we're taking care of a lot of these complexes. He pointed to a little footnote in the book that said, sometimes uh, trigger points can cause cardiac arrhythmias, PVCs, and a lot of chest pain that are very akin to a heart attack. And it clicked for the past six months my um, general practitioner and I have been trying to figure out where my cardiac issues have been coming from. We looked at everything we could think of and could not find a pattern to the, the PVCs. We couldn't find any sort of trigger factor. It just was, it was unknown. Um, so after class, they went and replicated that pain right here and it just it was it was incredible um, we were able to replicate the pain get it to release and it give, gives me an answer and now I'm not gonna have to go for cardiac ablations I mean crazy just insane